Hey, hey, y'all. It's Michelle from Monkey's Creations. I am early this morning. I've been prepping since 7 a.m. Actually, probably earlier than that. So get out of the bed and come join me. Just making sure everything is working. Hello, hello. Good morning, good morning. There we go. I can see ya. It's early, huh? <laughs> it is early. And that's okay. Because if you're not added to bed, you can always watch the replay. So we are getting started on my front door swag. Um, so I am using all unique in the creek rectangle boards for my swag. So I'm going to do it in three sections. So this long piece will go over my front door and you can see all I did was zip tie them all together. Okay, so this is gonna be my front door. And then we've got our two side pieces. Our two side pieces that will, yeah, you can see this go down each side so all I have to do is zip tie them here to go down my door down the edges of my door okay yay you get to see me how are you long time no see so what I'm gonna do is I am using 21 inch mesh and we're gonna do poofs on all of these um, and then we will add ruffles into all of the poofs. The frames are from, they are unique in the creek frames. And I will share my link. If you use my link and in the discount bar, put five off boards, all one word, the number five off boards, you will save 5% on all your boards. Okay. Um, so we're going to do the base, um, because this is a, a, a decent sized project, um, we're going to probably do this in two parts. So we're going to build the base right now, and then we're going to come back and decorate it. Um, the, the plan is to be able to use this base for at least three to four seasons. Okay. Um, so we've got Christmas. And then we roll right into Valentine's. Um, I probably won't do St. Patty's. I will probably roll this right over into Patriotic. So we are going to do just kind of a basic um, base with just reds and whites. So reds and whites for Christmas. Um, we are using these snowflakes. Um, and I, I thought I had purchased five of these because the plan was to put one on each side, just like that, and then one right there in the middle going down my door. Um, I'll probably just do my Easter tree and probably not the front door, but I could. Let's just, just see how it rolls. <laughs> Um, so we are using um, just red and white ribbon to go with the snowflakes. And then when Christmas is over, all I have to do is take the snowflakes off. And we can add our hearts and just add some pink ribbon. And we have a whole nother holiday swag for my front door. Okay? I am. I'm winging it. Um... And then I'm thinking going into patriotic because our base is already red and white. That's that. That's my thinking. Um, 
So I'm hoping I can find my other snowflake. If not, then we just use three and that's it. Um, so the, the base is gonna be red and white. I'll be using red and white ribbon um, and then just adding the snowflakes, y'all. Okay, so um, how will it be stored? Because I'm doing it in three sections, um, it will be able to actually stay up most of the year because Patriotic can run right through November if you need it to um, because we have Veterans Day in November, right? So right after Valentine's, you've got your big Patriotic season um, that can hang right through November and then you can just start Christmas all over again. So the, the goal is to try to keep it up all year and see how it handles in the weather. Um, and so it's, it's gonna be a big experiment. Now my front door um, actually gets hardly any weather. Um, even during hurricanes, my front door does not get wet, um, but it does get the afternoon sunlight, but it is completely covered. Um, so we will just have to see how it goes and um, see if we can make this happen. So we're gonna do 10 inch poofs um, as you can see, I've done every two sets of holes. So we do one, leave two sets, do one, leave two sets, do one, leave two sets, all the way on all three sections. So we're going to do 10 inch poofs, and then we're going to um, add our, our ruffles on top of those. Um, and the other good thing is this is all leftover mesh. So I am using three different types of mesh for our, our ruffles on top. This white 21 inch piece um, is left over um, and I'm gonna see if we have enough to do it and I think we will. Um, so the base will be just all leftover mesh, essentially. Okay, so let's get started. I know that was a lot of explaining, but I had to explain my method um, before we could get started so that you understood kind of my way of thinking, okay? Um, is that three, I am using one, two, three, four boards going across my door and then two boards on each side going down. So a total of eight boards, okay? Using a, a yardstick, it's, a, I don't need to use a yardstick for stability. Once it's up there, I have holes drilled into the brick. So this will get put directly on the brick. Um, my son um, figured this out. So he drilled kind of extra holes here that you can see um, right there, right there, and then one on the other end. Um, so he made it so that we can pull the screw out literally take the screw right through, use, um, a, 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 what's those, um, the, a bolt. And so this is essentially going to be screwed right to, right to my brick. So we shouldn't have any problems. Okay. So let me get my measure buddy. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking we're just going to do 10 inch poofs is what I'm thinking. We'll try a couple and then see kind of how it works out. Um, so let me bring you down and we'll just get started. Y'all know I love winging it. We are going to make it work however I need to make it work. Okay? <laughs> so we can so these are my three different meshes. So we've got this um, snowball. We've got the heavily fold red and white. And we've got the more heavily fold red and white. So I've got 27 zip ties. So I needed nine of each color. And this is all leftover. So you just mix and match. It just adds extra texture, extra dimension. Um, so I love to mix and match meshes. So don't be afraid to do that. So we are gonna add our ruffles right on top of our poofs, kind of as we go. 
So I'm just going to start with the red and white. These are cut at 15 inches and I did wood burn them. So let's get these going. So we're going to get our poofs and then to get this started, I'm going to kind of go upside down and you'll be able to see through this mesh what I'm doing so we can get it started and not have this part hanging out the end, right? So I'm going to kind of get it going right underneath. I hope you can see what I'm doing. Grab. So who watched the marathon this weekend? They did an amazing job putting that together, Kelly and Patricia. Um, so I want to hear one thing that you learned from this weekend. One thing you learned from this weekend. Okay, so now I'm just going to do a 10 inch poof. I haven't worked with 21 inch mesh in a, in a while. <laughs> So I'm just taking my measure buddy. It is out 10 inches and we're gonna put it just like that to measure. Gonna go right in. You had a lot of fun, awesome. Of new bow recipes, awesome. Okay, and then we're going to put a ruffle right on top. If you want to do this separately, you can. Just double zip tie it. And we are using the middle holes on this swag. I need to grab my needle nose because my hands are not wanting to work really well right now. Okay, so just like that. Oh, you're so welcome. Anytime. I love doing them. I love meeting new people. So I just hope that's going to be a lot. I wonder if, let's do that. So we're only going to do, I'll flip it over and show you. And I think it's going to be easier just to double zip tie rather than try to add our poofs on top of, or our ruffles on top of this. Okay, so we're going to double zip tie. Hello, hello. Now I probably could have used or done smaller poofs. Y'all just going to have to work with me. I'm winging it. Y'all know how I work. I think we need to do smaller poofs. I don't have my nippers in here. Alright. Let's flip this over. Oh, I knew that was going to happen. Okay. We're live, y'all. Y'all know how it works. <laughs> Hold on.
So we need to just start over anyway now. <laughs> Good morning, y'all. Yep, that got it. So we're going to have to get another piece of that. That's all right. Let's cut this off. Take this one off. And we'll just start again, y'all. Welcome to my world. <laughs> no, it wasn't a coffee. It is my smoothie. My smoothie. Lord have mercy. I'm going to have to edit this part out. Or just leave it in so everybody can get a good laugh. Because it does happen, y'all. Just keep going. <laughs> so let's move the rest of my smoothie down here on the ground. Let's go ahead and re zip tie these because I'm going to do smaller poofs. So we're going to see what an 8 inch poof looks like. No, it didn't run under my mat. I saw it. I saw it. We, I don't know any other way to be but real. Look, we invite you to our homes. Sometimes we cuss. On accident, sometimes you'll hear the dogs a-barking. Sometimes people walk in, but that's life, y'all. All right, so we're going to start over. Trim that part off. Just, <laughs> it's true. Very true. You know, some people think it's all glam and glitz and everything to do lives, and I'm going to tell you it's not. <laughs> so we're going to try an 8 inch poof. And I think an eight inch is gonna work a little bit better. Let's just, yes. Okay, so we're gonna do eight inches. And it's a Monday, right? <laughs> Yes, eight inches is going to be perfect. Perfect, perfect. So we all done decorating. Y'all, I was putting the last, I got my new Jim Shore Santas yesterday, so I was putting them on the shelf. I think I'm going to need another shelf next year. And I realized half of my lights weren't even on, y'all. The Monday dance for luck. 
<laughs> so now I got to figure out half the lights. Hi, hi. Right after this, I'm going to go watch me some Dre. She's a good Monday motivator. Christmas cards? Do people still do Christmas cards? Even brought my mesh roller up to the top. I usually keep it on the floor, but for this, it's like, let's just bring it to the top. Pines cut down the front yard. Oh, wow. You just can't, can't know, I know. Well, normally I would, but the whole thing's already decorated, minus my picks. I still haven't put my picks in because we're still trying to find them. So I may just add a strand to that side and just call it a day. Who knows? Um, I put four of these boards together. So what's the size of my front door? I don't know how long it is. I'll measure it for you. Let me get these last two pieces on. <laughs> no, I won't call it a day. For sure. All right, so we're gonna do this one the same way we did the other one. So there's eight. I'm gonna leave it a little bit longer because we're gonna tuck it under. So we're gonna cut this off. And then tuck it right under that poof so it's not hanging out and zip tie it on the inside all right so we're going to do all of our poofs first that way i can get this measure this um my mesh thing off of my table so these are the two side pieces i'll measure it for you when we're done how about that so these are the two side ones hello hello Oh, that's true. How long is each board? So each board is 13 inches. So I used four of those. See, some of y'all are so smart. Your first live? Well, welcome. I am Michelle from Monkey's Creations, so if you have any questions, uh, let me know. Yep, 
Yeah, they're 13 inches. Let's cut off that excess. Tell my brain's still working because I'm quiet. What did, I went, Pam, I went from a 10 inch poop to an 8 inch. The 8 inch is perfect, 10 was just too big. That's the only change I made, except I had to start over because I spilt my smoothie. <laughs> to laugh. That's all you can do. piece on this one. So we've got our eight. Make it a little bit longer so we can tuck it. Good morning. You are making these today? Awesome. Oh, I did it in my head, Ray. I did it in my head. <laughs> All right, let's get this one last one done. And I actually may have enough. Now, if I only needed this much more, I'm really going to cuss because that was the part I had to throw away. Oh, thanks, Beverly. Oh, maybe not. I spoke too soon. And I actually, let me just change it because I don't, am I going to have enough? No, I'm not. So let me just change it now so I don't have to, um, Splice those together. Almost had enough, y'all. Almost. later now I can cuss in my head <laughs> Oh, 
what do I have the roll sitting on? Um, it is a mesh roller. Um, trying to remember. Margaret Schooneman's husband made it for me. She's the one that used, does the um, butterfly bodies. Usually it's on the floor because when I make the, um, when I normally use my 21 inch, I work it from the floor, but because this one was straight, I just brought it up. You're welcome. So these zipped, these rectangle boards, they're sold in pairs. So you get two, two boards for what, like five dollars, I think. Five sixty foot trees taken down. Oh, wow. Now I have more room. Okay, and then this end we're tucking underneath. Just like that. So let's get these zip ties clipped off. And then we can add our ruffles. I'm trying to see. Okay, this is the bottom. You been Cheryl? I need a drink. What's left? Okay, so this is the bottom. So we're gonna start with the red. <clears throat> oh, I had to waste that red, didn't I? So let's start with this red. Sleep is overrated, right? So we're just going to put, let's go ahead and run our doubles, our zip ties. So we're just zip tying right over our poop zip tie. So I asked this earlier, but more people of you are awake and out of bed. So if you watch the marathon this weekend, what is one thing that you learned from the marathon now that I can pay attention to? Okay, so my ruffles are 15 inches. Okay. 
Okay, so they are just going right in. More zip tie. Just like that. A beautiful tree topper. I think I missed that one. I'm going to have to go find that one. Thanks for floating my boat. I appreciate it. Now, all of these ruffles and most of the poofs are just using leftover mesh. I did have to break open the white to do this last piece, but everything else is left over. But I don't think, yo, <laughs> I'll have to go find it. If y'all go to, I think it's Crafty Creator Circle, and if Kelly or Patricia, if you're in here, um, if you want to put that link, you can. Um, that's where all of the lives are shared to, um, and then you can find the individual pages from there. I have to go watch all the lives again. <laughs> I learned you need to make two wreaths if you have, oh, <laughs> so I can work at my normal pace and make two wreaths next time. I'll remember that because in my head the whole time I'm like, okay, I'd see myself just to start to speed up. I was like, slow down. There were a few, oh, I didn't know there was another one. Oh, I think you're right. There was another one. Do a white. Hello, hello. How do you connect these? I'll just zip tie them right together just like I did here. So I'll zip tie it to the next board. All right, so there is board number one and I'm gonna label it on the other side so I know exactly where it's going. So that's board number one and this is the bottom. Okay, I love how you can just write right on the boards. So board number one is down. So I'm gonna go right to the big one so I can keep my mesh going in the, y'all know I'm OCD, so I gotta keep my mesh going in the same pattern all the way around background noise from the TV. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, okay, Cheryl. Well, Patricia and Kelly had a marvelous marathon. I know I had a ball. So when done, how many rectangles? Eight. Eight total when I'm done. So we're gonna do this in two parts. So right now I am just building the base. 
and then I will come back and we'll add all the ribbon, the bows, the snowflakes, and everything else. So I stopped at the white. So now I need this one, but we have to cut off our zip ties and zip tie it again. love to make something for my door but I get a lot of bugs girl we get bugs too we have lizards okay so sometimes when I take my stuff down if you're my neighbor you'll hear me squeal or scream because that means a lizard probably jumped on me or there's a lizard in my wreath or something saw a picture of one that had a snake in it. Girls, let me tell you, that thing would stay up forever. <laughs> yeah, little lizards, but still. Mm-mm. I'm good as long as they don't jump on me. But them things, they jump. And they move so quickly you can't even see it. Like, mm -mm, get out of here. Alright, last one of these going in. Thanksgiving had a frog. <laughs> right in. And like I said, you can, if you want to add your ruffles right into the poofs at the same time, you can. But I just couldn't do it today. red flying everywhere. Had a lizard. We had a bearded... Oh yeah, we've had bearded dragons. We've had crabs, like hermit crabs. We've, we've done the, the gamut of the, the pets. Numerous fish. to find that. Oh, is it? And I de-stashed so much of it earlier that I was like, oh, maybe I shouldn't have done that. That's why it takes me so long to de-stash because I'm always afraid I'm not going to be able to find it 
and then I'm going to have a cow. <laughs> oh yeah, they're always in our pool. Frogs, lizards, snakes. We found, um, last year we had um, possums. So I found a possum in the pool. I did save it. Um, it went to a local rehab, wildlife rehab, that I had to drive like almost an hour to get to, but I did it. These are all cut at 15 inches. Oh, you spray them. That's a good idea. And it doesn't discolor them? I'd be afraid it would discolor, but maybe not. These are the Unique in the Creek Rectangle Boards. So I'm making a swag for my front door that we can keep up season after season. <laughs> oh, you should just spray the back. Gotcha. See why I'm doing this in two parts? <laughs> Crying. <laughs> we have um, our exterminators come out every quarter here. That's how much I dislike bugs, spiders, ants. And because, you know, we do live in Texas, we don't get those cold snaps that kills a lot of things. You know how the winter kills them? We don't always get that here, so our bug people come out year around. All right, so let's cut off our zip ties. We just got one more piece left. And we can call this base done. There we go. How fun. Okay, hold on. So this is going to be the left side. Looking at it. So left, right. Top. All right, 
right, so we stopped at this one, so I'm going to start white here. Okay. So let's cut these off at our next set. This is going around my front door, yes. I've already got the snowflake up, so if you watch me use the snowflake, um, I use the Unique in the Creek flower board, and then for the, the whatchamajiggers that come out, I actually cut the rectangle boards in half, so I could use two pieces per board to do the thingy-ma-bobbers. But that, if you want to see how I did that, that's on my YouTube channel, top, bottom. And this is piece number three. All right, so let's get a white. Oh, let's put our zip ties in. Yep, it, the snowflake did fit. It sure did. I will post a picture of it. It's big, but it fit. Barely. <laughs> but it did. Alright, so we've got white. Thanks. I, I just love trying to find different ways to use the boards. I love hacking them up, finding just new ways. And like when I well, I was live in the VIP group um, Saturday after the my part of the marathon, I had to go live in there, and then I'm working on something with them and I'm coming up with another idea like it just I don't think my brain ever stops but I have learned to start writing them down because I forget like I'll tell Tina I need to do this or She'll be like, people are asking how to do this, so I'm like, okay, well, I'll do it live, and then I forget. <laughs> like, oh my goodness. So I've learned to start writing them down because I have a secretary, but she doesn't remind me. She's been fired. And she knows who she is. <laughs> okay. Oh, I did have just enough, y'all. Even I, even though I had to waste that one. Yep, it's Dana. She's fired. You need to do the foam. I missed that. You need to do the foam village wreath. Oh, yeah, that was awesome. 
she sent me a, a wreath made out of um, spray foam but the spray foam was like like a mountain almost going up the wreath and they had like um, houses and trees and everything going up <laughs> don't remind me she beat me it was rigged I actually had extra pieces I don't know how I had extra pieces but that's alright I'm good with that Okay, so we are done with our base. So I can kind of show you how it's going to come together, maybe. Okay, so it'll kind of be... Oh, did Lori finally make it in? Is she added to bed? She is out of the bed. So it will kind of go like this. So up here, let me turn it over. So they'll, it'll kind of go like this. And they'll actually be zip tied together. Out of the bed. And then we can do our, on the next session, which will be today because I've got to get it done, but it'll probably be this afternoon. Um, and then our snowflakes will go here, wherever my middle is, and then on this side. And we'll probably do some some bridging. We'll do some funky bows. Um, we'll just do whatever comes to my head at the time. But I'm hoping I can find the other snowflake so that I can put one here on each side as well. But if I can't, I can't. But I know it's here somewhere. All right, so let's all go watch Dre with Ranch House. Ranch House um, Crafts and More, I think. Um, let's all go watch her so we can get motivated today. And um, I will come back. It'll probably be early afternoon or maybe noonish. You never know. Um, but I will send out a text. So if you're not on my text alerts, it is 281-502-2228. Um, and I usually text, usually 10 to 15 minutes before I go live. Um, yeah, I'm looking a hot mess. Look at that skunk. Got the skunk look. Um, and we will finish this up later today. All right. So let's all go watch Dre. Tell her monkey sent you so we can just get her laughing. All right. Bye, y'all.